Well, the city of L.A. recently dismantled another homeless encampment through its Inside Safe program. In all, that program has brought about 2,000 unhoused people indoors, mostly into hotel rooms. But in other instances, the city is just shuffling people from one block to another, leaving them outside. The I-Team's Joel Grover is tracking the progress of the city's efforts to get people off the streets. This block of El Centro Avenue and Hollywood Boulevard has been free of tents ever since the city's Inside Safe program dismantled this encampment last June. But just a block away, the I-Team has documented new encampments. This one on Hollywood Boulevard and this one on Gower Street where I met Scott Marshall. You were across the intersection? Yep, right there. Scott tells me he's been shuffled from one block to another in Hollywood. Across LA, we found examples of the city shuffling homeless people around rather than getting them inside. There had been numerous homeless RVs parked around West Hills Hospital until the neighbors complained. A police officer actually told you to move here? Yes. Barry Glickstein told me the RV he lives in was parked near West Hills Hospital until a cop asked him to move. He said, do me a favor, move from here somewhere else. Barry showed me this text he got from an officer telling him to move to Valley Circle Boulevard and Valerie Street in this quiet West Hills neighborhood. I call it whack-a-mole. Near Adam Johansson's house. It is shuffling, it is taking an encampment and telling him you can't be here, neighbors have complained. They just go down the block or they go a few streets over. Like this woman who decided to camp out in front of someone's Venice garage until the neighbors called the cops. The cops didn't offer her housing or services, they just asked her to move. They waited till the woman moved just a few houses away and then they left. It's a very challenging situation for us. LAPD Commander Giselle Espinoza. LAPD is not even the lead agency that is supposed to address this matter initially. The lead agency on homelessness matters is the mayor's office. In January, Mayor Bass announced increased funding for something called circle teams, which respond to non-emergency complaints about the homeless. They showed up even before the cops when neighbors complained about that woman camping out in front of a Venice garage. They're supposed to get the homeless shelter and services, but they didn't in this case. I mean, that is not a solution to the problem. Alan Parsons lives in the area. The right solution is not leaving them on the street. What do you think's going on when these people respond? Well, they're not connecting them with services. They're not getting them the help that they need. We probably don't have enough services or housing, but that is what the mayor has promised. I asked the mayor about that directly. It seems like the city is sometimes just shuffling homeless people from one block to another. Mm -hmm. What's your thought about that? Well, we will never address the problem that way. Bass says the solution is more housing and says the city will have 4,000 new units of housing over the next year. A lot more than is available now, but not nearly enough to house the more than 40,000 people still living on the streets of L.A., some of whom are being shuffled from block to block. We have got to get people housed. And I understand that there might be incidences where you move people along. That's not what we do in Inside Safe. But, and that's not a way to deal with the problem long term. For the I-Team, I'm Joel Grover.